Well, hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Anyway, let's get into the fishing report for this week. Let's, uh, you know, what everybody is most interested in, let's right here at the water level. And to my surprise, because it rained quite a bit yesterday, the water level has gone down. It's about an inch lower than my last little short that I showed you guys. But uh, again, look right there at that piece of wood right there. That is off of somebody's dock that has floated down to the end of my key. So I can assure you <clears throat> that that is probably the case throughout a lot of the lake. So you guys that are fishing the tournaments this weekend are <clears throat> having to brave this storm. Be very aware. You can see all the debris that's pushed up back there in the back but uh here in the keys i've been removing a lot of big trees and stuff out of the keys with the harvester but anyway uh let's get to uh, what i know about the fishing <clears throat> earlier this week the weather was beautiful i, I posted a, a crappie fishing uh video that was on wednesday and uh it was actually beautiful we're out in t-shirts and just extremely comfortable and the uh the water temperature was at 55 was the warmest that we found but uh we caught the crappie so good we uh we did target the bass for about 30 minutes but we were just having so much fun with the crappie that we just we just stayed on them and kept kept hammering the uh the crappie but what's going on up here I talked to a lot of my buddies and the bass were on the move they were making the move the spinner baits <coughs> the chatter baits were back working there were bucks in the brush but what's happening is there is a very very cold storm due to hit us tomorrow they're actually predicting snow to be two to four inches here at lake level which is uh hard to believe at the moment because i'm actually standing out here on my dock in a, a long sleeve t-shirt and shorts and i'm barefooted because i'm a big old hillbilly but uh anyway if the weatherman's got it half right that's not going to be very pleasant at all so uh the winds are also predicted to be it's supposed it's predicting quite the wind event but uh anyway i i hope that uh, it doesn't end up being as bad as they're saying i know that some tournaments have been canceled on different lakes there was one canceled on uh i think like uh, mendocino a bbt i know that uh, vince harris with the future pro tour that he canceled one of his i know that there was one canceled on very so i'm not sure but uh the big elephant in the room up here that the word just does not get out good at all. There's no signs posted on the ramps. The uh, ramp monitors don't explain it very well. I've had friends call the sheriff <clears throat> and uh, it wasn't explained to them very well. But uh, you have to do your own diligence because as they say, when they're writing you that ticket, ignorance is not an excuse for breaking the law. So <clears throat> the rule is when it's over eight foot, I I've told you guys in my last report, but uh, I'm just seeing so many people on pad. And another thing, just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean that you get to do it. It's 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 just one of those things, the word's not getting out. So as a community, we've got to work together and get the word out here. But within a quarter mile of the shoreline for the entire lake, I mean, that's coming up on an island. It's every single shoreline on Clear Lake right now, a quarter mile from it is a five mile an hour, no wake zone. They just forget even the five mile an hour. If you've got the kind of boat that's throwing a big ass wake at three, it's a no wake zone. And the reason why I just showed you that piece of dock floating over there, that's the reason it's, it destroys people's property and we want to avoid that. So uh, <clears throat> just do your due diligence up here. I mean, comply, comply with that speeding regulation because they have shut the lake down entirely in the past because it wasn't being complied with. <clears throat> but uh, fishing wise, if I was fishing a tournament this weekend, I assure you the fish that had moved up this cold weather is pushing them all back. So what I would do is I would go back to the big swim baits. I would go deep. I would be out on the, the deeper ledges and stuff and humps and island tops, and I would be targeting the deeper fish. But hey, I'm not the guy catching the 30 pound bags. There's other people catching the 30 pound bags and their secret is their secret, I don't know. But for me, I'd still be throwing that underspin. I'd be throwing the trash fish. I'd be throwing, <clears throat> I'd be throwing the huds. I'd be dragging some jigs. The rip bait can still be very effective. You know, there's always a chance for a big fish on that, but for <clears throat> my experience, I was just catching the smaller ones with it. <clears throat> and um, the Carolina rig was getting me bites because the bite window, my experience, mind you, has just been 
20 minutes of insanity and four hours of what the heck. So in between that what the heck time, I was dragging the uh, the split shots can be a great a great option or go with the uh, you know big bait big bass drag that bigger uh, Carolina rig and uh, set yourself up for that big bite. But anyway, if you're coming up here, good luck, stay safe, and uh, I hope that this video helps you guys out. And like I like to say, when you get up here, treat people the way you want to be treated, and peace out, baby.